What is up everybody, this is Momo here, back with Indigo Prophecy 2, bringing you Movie Monday again. I hope that you like the series so far, it's a very great game. I wish they would remake it so bad. Not, and I don't want them to change any of the story. Like, keep it just the way it is, but just with our graphics. Please, can I just, can we please get that? Just, I just want to see today's graphics in this. This game is so good. It's so good. But, if I haven't told you already, please be sure to vote for your next gameplay on Tuesday. I put my voting polls up on Instagram if you would like to, but please, 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 I encourage Go and vote for the next gameplay you want to see. Without further ado, let's get into the shit! I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. to just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones Bank. I share my office with Warren. You okay, Lucas? You're all white. Oh, I've got a little cold, that's all. That guy is so bizarre. He gives me the creeps. What'd you say? What? You were saying something? No, I didn't say anything. Are you sure you're all right, Lucas? I... I heard something, as though I could read his mind. <laughs> Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Lucas? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <phone rings> Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Look out, the cop! Lucas, is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought it seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall.
Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? Alright, this part is gonna be hard as fuck. That's about to happen. Alright, so I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try my very best to fucking do this shit. Cause I streamed this earlier and it was, I just kept doing this shit like five times. It was so annoying. So hopefully I don't have to do that fucking again. And uh, um, if I do do that, I guess I'll be editing out. You gotta do this part with analog sticks, and analog sticks are not my best friend. The D-pad is. <laughs> oh boy, what the fuck is he seeing in his mind? Okay, this part irritated the fuck out of me. Get this right. I never, I never get it right. Fucked up, y'all. Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. But one thing I do know, those things almost killed me.
Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murder until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. The stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. Well, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Did he die immediately? No, it would be fairly slow. Probably at least three or four minutes. Uh, the time for the brain to stop functioning due to the lack of oxygen. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Come in. H hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. At least, th that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. That's you go buy to yourself before. a video game. I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. The investigation continues into the recent murder which took place at Doc's Diner. Police have today provided a composite photo of the suspect 
based on information given by a witness to the crime. If you see this man, please call the special number which appears on your screen now. And finally, a report on the weather with a new snow front moving down from Canada. They know what I look like. Well, that's it then. Now the manhunt really begins. stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. Have a seat. So, how's life? I'm pretty swamped with work at the hospital right now, and I'm not completely moved in yet, but I'm doing fine. Want something to drink? I think there's still a bottle of gin laying around in the kitchen somewhere, if you want. Yeah, I'd love some. All right, don't fuck this up, Lucas. Mission, get the kitty. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I had a few health problems, but I'm better now. That's good. Hey, I, I miss you, you know? I miss you too. Are you... Are you with anybody? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking you that. No, no, it's okay, I don't mind. No, I'm still alone. And you? Yeah, I'm alone too. I've had a little trouble getting over you. You still playing? You know, I really haven't even thought about it lately. Play a couple of notes for me, will ya? You know, in memory of the good times. Okay, sure. She ain't ready for the smolder. If 
about to look like we gonna get it. Ah, uh, okay. We gotta just keep up with the jack. All right, here we go. girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. You okay, Lucas? I I'm fine, Tiffany. I'm, I'm just fine.